Hey everyone, so I just got my Vortex delivered minutes ago and I'm going to do an unboxing in this video and um, give you my first impressions on the quad. So let's open it up and see what's inside. I'm going to hide this so you can't see my shipping address. And here's the quad. Okay, so it looks like the quad is already flashed with clean flight, so that's a, that's a good sign. Sorry about the my dog noise in the background. Let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so it actually looks a lot smaller than I expected. Um, you get all your, I don't know what all this stuff, stickers, whatever. And it's been, I guess, flight tested by Jerome. And then you get, looks like 50, what are these, 50, 50, 30 props. You should get an extra set. Get your antenna. And it looks like, I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like a crash pack. Hmm, nice. It looks like these are little uh, things that hold the arms. There's some extra dampening balls. And i um, not sure what it is, but um, after I look at it for a little bit, I'll let you know what it is. Hmm, not sure what this is, but let's see. Let's find out. Alright, so here's the quad. It's actually a lot lighter than than I expected. Looks like it comes with a T motor 1806-23 kV motors. These are the 5030 props. Um, this was the first batch. Um, that they shipped out and it didn't come with the um, lock nuts it came with these little whatever these things are I think the second batch is supposed to come out with lock nuts but these pop in they feel pretty sturdy Just like that hmm overall it feels pretty nice it's um actually pretty light. I'll give you a, a size comparison. Here's a Hovership Zool. This is a two, 265 millimeter frame and the Vortex is a 285. So you can tell it's a tiny bit bigger. And it's a little bit heavier than the, than the Zool just from feeling it so let's see yeah you can see it's a little bit a little bit bigger than a 265 and then next to my busted QAV 250 you can tell it's a lot bigger side by side and there's it's quite a bit bigger actually there's a 250 on a 285. It's much longer than the 2AV by about, I don't know, two inches. And it looks like it comes with a, a little CMOS um, Fat Shark FPV camera. And it's cool because you, um, you can change the angle just by moving it like that. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of dark. It's pretty cool. 
Okay, so um, give me a second, let's open this up and then um, let's see what's inside this. Okay, so I'm in the process of taking the vortex apart and it looks like these little screws are a uh, one and a half millimeter and then there's a three millimeter holding the, um, the bottom part over here. And then there's some kind of spring thing right here so I'll have to remember to put that back in. And then uh, just a little QC issue, I was missing a screw right here, no big deal, but this thing has enough screws to hold it together. So I'm almost done, I have the last two to take out and then we'll see what's inside the vortex. I think it's a sir. Oh wow. Looks like it's, the uh, camera is plugged in right here. So I'm just going to unplug that and remove that. Alright, so let me zoom in, give you a closer look. So, hmm. Looks like the ESC is plugged in here. This, this is for the video transmitter. Uh, I mean, the antenna. This looks like a. Um, for the video transmitter and this looks like a flight controller or something uh, fusion immersion RC it looks like there's a little beeper right here and then in the back this is where the uh, receiver plugs in yeah that's pretty much it and then the um give you a closer look of the the LEDs right here which are pretty cool. So I'm gonna put this thing back together and then uh, try to hook it up and uh, go through the, the setups and stuff. Okay, so when you first plug in your Vortex, this is the first screen you're gonna see. This is the transmitter setup wizard. Um, you basically just center the all your controls and then just follow the, follow the instructions on the screen. And this is basically where you set up your mode 1 or mode 2 on your uh, transmitter. So I'm just going to skip through this, fast forward through this part. And then um, this is where you set up your accelerometer also. I mean, yeah, accelerometer. So it's setting up right now. And then you hear a little beep. And then you're done. And then this is your OSD, Easy OSD. And then to get to the um, menu, you just hold the throttle or your left controller for a mode two to the down and left position. And then here I'm just showing you the different um, displays you can choose. Gamer is pretty cool. Right here, you start the game by arming your quad. And then I guess when you start flying, it'll show you your progress. I haven't had a chance to fly yet because it's been raining for about three weeks straight over here. And pseudo is where you can um, name your, your quad right there. And then you can change your battery, your battery capacity. I guess that's for the, um, the low voltage warning. And you can change the frequency of the beeper also, which is pretty cool. And then LED mode, um, haven't had a chance to mess with that, but you could probably program all that in uh, Clean Flight. And this is, this is where you change your uh, video transmitter frequencies, so you don't have to mess with little dip switches or anything on your transmitter. You can do everything from the OSD. And then you can do your game setup here. And then flight controller is pretty cool. This is where you, you can tune all your PIDs right from your controller. So you don't have to unplug your uh, quad and plug it into the computer to change your, your PIDs. You can also change the RC rates too. Flight controller, you can change which PID controller you use. And you can also calibrate accelerometer again here. So pro tuning is where they have all the um, the presets for these different flyers, which is pretty cool. 
I haven't had a chance to mess with them. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and um, don't forget to subscribe. I, I'll, I'll show you more um, videos of this Vortex and uh, First Flight and all that other stuff coming up. So thanks for watching.